Welcome everyone back to Wrestling with Reality. I am Johnny Cashmere. Thank you guys for checking out my first video, which was uploaded last night. It's already got plenty of views and I've got a bunch more subscriptions. Keep it coming, everybody, because I plan on keeping the videos coming. So our first video was all about the Mandela Effect and it was a big hit. So let's do more. I have some brand new Mandela Effect stuff. And I think I'm going to blow your mind, to be honest with you guys. Uh, let's see what we've got here. I'm just going to go through some more. You guys seem to really like the animals. So I want to show you guys some more Mandela Effect animals. You're not going to believe this stuff. This is the Shoe Build Bird. Check this guy out. Tell me he does not look like he should be a Muppet. That is real, people. That is real that's all i have to say that is real oh my goodness look at him ew he's almost weird looking i mean look at the size of the mouth on this thing and this thing has always been around don't forget always been here not new oh no Ugh. all right plenty more mandela effects how about this thing Did you ever hear of the panda dolphin Kind of looks like a, uh, like a, what are they called, killer whale, but it's not. It's a dolphin. It's a panda dolphin. Never heard of it. Whatever. Apparently, they exist. All right, here's another one that a lot of people talk about. How about airplane engines? A lot of people remember airplane engines being... In a completely different part of the airplane. Now they're up front of the wing. Do you see that? Up front of the wing. A lot of people remember them being either in the middle of the wing or towards the back. But look at this. It's like they protrude completely out of the wing. A lot of people just don't remember it this way. They say that they were in the middle of the wing. I mean, think about it. A lot of people get aisle seats and window seats, so people are used to looking out. I mean, look, that much of the engine should not be showing. At least that's what some people say. We'll see. All right, how about, oh, this one drives me crazy. All right, you guys know Mount Rushmore, right? With the presidents in North Dakota or wherever it is. Check this out. Did you know that George Washington has lapels now? Look at the lapels. And his, his tie, his ascot, you can see. It's not just heads. All of a sudden, it's that. And you can even see a little bit of a hand on Abraham Lincoln. A hand on Lincoln. I mean, I know that the original Mount Rushmore was supposed to be their full bodies, and it turned out to be way too hard to drill into the mountain, so they ended up, look, here's a good thing where you can see the hand. You see it? See if I can get you guys a better picture of this so you can see this hand. Okay, see his knuckles right here? Can you see that? His knuckles and the lapels. I don't ever remember that being on Mount Rushmore, okay? Call me crazy, I don't remember it. All right, how about... How about pink dragonflies? Not just pink, but neon pink. Pretty interesting, right? I don't know. i never seen it. There's a whole bunch of pink stuff. I showed you the pink lake in my last video. Okay. They just seem to have... The Mandela Effect has this weird fascination with colors. Okay. Like, watch. Now there's pink dolphins. I mean, come on. You know, rich people would have these things at their weddings if they existed for as long as they supposedly have existed. Look, Louisiana, these things are in the U.S. Are you kidding me? There's no way. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's see. What else is pink? How about, could there be a pink pineapple? No. Yes, pink pineapples. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That should be the name of this this uh, 
channel. Okay, let's see. How about how about a pink elephant, people? Think we got pink elephants? Why not? Up oh, there we go. There we go. That's real. There really are pink elephants. Are you kidding? For real now? Yes, pink elephants, pink dolphins. There's just this whole pink fetish going. I showed you the pink lake, but just since we're doing the pink motif, we can't, you can never see the pink lake too much. I mean, let's be honest, look how beautiful it is. That thing should be on postcards. Everyone should know about the pink lake in Australia. All right, so we saw pink. Uh, what about blue? Let's see if there's a blue fetish, okay? Let's see, uh, how about blue bees? Could there be blue bees? Of course not, right? No such thing as blue bees. Oh, blue bees. Look, metallic blue bees. This is the metallic. This is actually, I think, a wasp. But then there's also run-of-the-mill blue bees. Yep, why not? Why not have blue bees, right? Makes perfect sense. Ridic. Okay, now this one isn't quite as bad since there are blue crabs and they're called blue claw. <laughs> it's not too crazy that there's blue lobsters, but they're still pretty damn neat looking. And they say one in every two million casts from a lobster fisherman catches a blue lobster. I mean, wow, that's crazy, right? All right, the Mandela effect is not done with blue yet. We have a lot more to go here with, with colors. How about a tarantula? A blue tarantula. Sure. Not just blue, cobalt blue. Sapphire blue. Look at this. The rare blue tarantula. Yeah. Yep. This has been around my whole life, right? Please. Okay. Let's see what else we can have that's blue. Name name a name an uh, an animal. Uh lions. First thing to come to mind. Can't possibly be blue lions. Oh boy, there are blue lions. Now some of these pictures obviously are fakes, but there really has been blue lions. Blue lions in nature. Oh, don't do this to me. They're not going to show it now. Okay, well, I saw this thing on YouTube. There are blue, there is blue lions. There are blue lions. Let's go to YouTube. I'm not going to let this thing defeat me. You will see a blue lion if it kills me. <clears throat> there we go. Ancient blue lion found. Okay. You see that? All right, that is a blue lion, people. Okay, blue lion. How are you? Hello, how are you? Okay, so there's blue lions. We're not done with blue yet. How about blue for lions to rats? Let's see. Blue rats. I mean, okay, that's dye. But there are blue rats. Look. I realize it's not real blue, but it's blue. Okay? That is blue. Alright, let's see. What else do we have? Blue. Blue banana? Could it be possible? Yes, it is. There's a blue banana. I mean, what would you... Like what, you're going to eat that thing? Are you kidding? I wouldn't eat it. And then I showed you this last time, but we're going to look at it again because it's so beautiful and it is blue. The blue dragon sea slug goes with our blue motif and it is gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. These things aren't that big, but man, are they beautiful. All right, so we've covered pink, we've covered blue. Like I said, the Mandela effect has a fascination with colors. 
Let's try purple. Let's do frog. Purple frog. Let's see if there's a purple frog. Yeah, purple frog. Here it is. Weird. Okay. How about in Pennsylvania, one state over from me, they found a purple squirrel. That is real, people. There is a purple squirrel now. Crazy. All right. How about, let's see, green. Let's try some green. Green coffee beans? Coffee beans are brown, I thought. Aren't they? Well, let's see. Aha! Green coffee beans! Yay! Robusta! Green coffee bean! Yeah, sure. Alright, and let's think. Should we do green or should we do orange? Well, let's do both. Let's do green orange! Oh, it's not a lime, folks! It's a green orange! <laughs> Come on! What world are we living in? Crazy! So weird. Alright, so we did blue, we did purple, we did pink. We did green. Alright, let's do... How about a red? Red slug. And gross. And disgusting. <laughs> Hot pink sea slug. How come these things are always found in Australia? What is going on in Australia? All right, so that's red. How about gold? Let's see if we have gold. Let's try gold bats. And we get Louisville sluggers. But here it is. Gold bat. Bolivia's golden bat. Okay? So these things are in Bolivia. These are South America. I'm surprised they're not Australia. All right, and then while we're doing these colors, we might as well do one more. How about glow in the dark? Let's try glow in the dark. Uh, how about turtles? They're glow in the dark turtles? Yeah, sure. Why not? There's a turtle that glows in the dark. It's a sea turtle. Mm -hmm. I wish it would tell us where it was found. I don't know why we even have to ask. It's probably New Zealand or Australia. Glow in the dark seawater? What? Yep. Did you know that there's a natural phenomenon that's always been around where glowing water washes up onto the beach? I mean, come on. And these are not near nuclear power plants or anything. This is just legit. Like how... There's like, you know, the Aurora Borealis and all these weird phenomena, like the split screen sunset. Well, now there's these glowing beaches. Yeah. Again, they'd be all over postcards if they've always been here. We would know about it. Okay, one more glow in the dark. Glow in the dark caterpillar. But um bump. Now, I guess that's not a big deal because of glow worms. You know, the little the toy for the kids, glow worm glowed. So where'd they get that from? It had to be legit. But, you know, I just thought I'd throw it in for good measure. Glow worms. All right, so there's our colors. We just went through a whole bunch of colors, all right? So the Mandela Effect definitely has some sort of fetish with colors. So I think we're going to call it a video for that right now. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, won't be too long before another video comes out, alright? So, God bless. Johnny Cashmere is out.